half, I think nine of 14 targets were to Don and Lovett and uh, Bob Bowers. Just talk about them and their progressions and, you know, you just being able to find them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're, they're just getting open. Um, you know, what the defense was running against us, it allowed them to, you know, get the ball and then have opportunity to get uh, yards after the catch. So just trying to get the ball in their hands and then make the play. Carson, what changed in the third quarter for the offense? I mean, we, we went into the uh, locker room, you know, obviously we didn't play the way that we wanted in the first half, but we came out with energy. Um, we were composed, we were poised, so, and we just started making plays. You know, the, the offensive line started getting pushed, running backs started making plays. Um, I'm, I'm just proud of everybody. How different was it to the SEC competition to talk about, you know, obviously getting to this point for you? Is it different? Is it hard? Is it the same? I mean, it's always football, um, but obviously the SEC game is always going to be different. The physicality is going to be higher. Um, the tension in the game is going to be higher. I mean, it's a lot of fun. You know, the stakes are raised. The fans are here cheering us on. So it was a lot of fun. It was super exciting. What was done in the locker room? Did anyone stand up in the locker room at halftime to really kind of spark the energy for the second? Uh, you know, Coach Martin just talked to us before. You know, he said, you know, we're, we're going to win this game. Let's go out there and make plays. The defense is going to get stops. Offense, we're going to go down. We're going to score. And we're going to finish this game with a better one. What do you attribute maybe that slow start in the first half? Um, you know, I mean, things just weren't working out. We're executing on all the goals. We got down to the red zone, I think, like two or three times. I'm not sure. Um, we just weren't able to punch it in. Uh, we got to be better at it. Well, it was a big contribution from Dejon. What was it like just getting him back? back oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, he had a great game. Um, it's always nice to have a guy like that um, that constantly runs the ball hard, can make a guy miss in the hole, um, get three extra yards after contact. So I'm super proud of him. It looked like you and Coach Smart had a little message right there before the half. What was he telling y'all as y'all walked into that uh, locker room? Um, yeah, just to stay composed, um, take one moment at a time. I think that's the biggest thing that our team did so well. And um, one thing that he's been talking about is just trying to find our identity. And I think that we're starting to find that after today, just taking one moment at a time and winning each one. Were they pressuring you a little more in the first half? Did you notice any difference towards us? Um, yeah, I think they were bringing it. Obviously, i got to watch the film. But I'm pretty sure they were just playing man behind some pressure, um, little quarters mixed in there. Um, it just they were, they were just out executing us. Um, we could have played at a higher level in the first half, but we came back in the second half. This is this is three games in a row where you guys have started slow. Is it an emotional thing? Is it heads? Is it just no, it just, it just has to do with execution, I think. Um, you know, it's part of it. It's football. It's a game. Um, we could come out hot, and then the second half we slow down, you know. It's just football. So. What do you make of the offensive line? How it played after Marius got hurt? Um, I mean, they played hard. Obviously, he's a big part of our offensive line. Play tackle six eight zero. He is a good, he's a great player, but um, we got guys that are too deep at the offensive line. So I truly think that we have two starting offensive lines, like SEC starting lines. Uh, Ten guys, twelve guys that can all go in there and play and start. So I'm super proud of them, the way that they played. Um, I mean, we we come behind them. Did you see anything with Megan when he's kind of struggling to make a couple of plays to go around? Well, yeah, of course. Uh, just have confidence in yourself and have fun. It was all about you guys like, responding to adversity. You guys did that today. How do you think that was something to help you guys grow in? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's good that, you know, we got tested. Um, they came out and they were playing their butts off, you know. Um, full respect to them. They had us working the first half, and we just had to come out and make some adjustments and execute in a, in a different way than we did. So how does it feel to get your first SFC win? It feels good, obviously. Any win is a good win. Um, no matter how it looks, I mean, it's not being good. Whether we kill someone or beat somebody by one point, a win is always a win, so I'm super excited. With your experience, person, there's execution and play calling. The momentum is such an intangible. You guys seem to absolutely just grab it the third quarter. How do, you, how do you grab momentum? Yeah, I mean, momentum is a huge thing. Um, I mean, us coming out there, um, I think we got two third downs on that drive when we came out in the half. Um, and then to go down and brush it in, get the score, just get the energy flip to our side coming out of the half, and then our defense coming out there getting a stop, and then going back down and scoring again. You know, momentum is a real thing, and um, we really see, seem to just have a good grasp of it tonight. Just curious, when you raise voices at halftime? Um, no, we were pretty calm, to be honest. Um, I think that's one thing that our team does well is we're composed, um, and we were resilient. Um, even though we had a slow start in the first half, we knew that we were going to come out and perform and end up winning the game. Did you guys hear the boots coming off the field at halftime? No. Carson, what does it look like when this offense plays its best football? And then how close is it to it? What um, well, so I think we're very explosive. I mean, we have a lot of talent. Um, when our running game is working, it opens up our passing game. Um, obviously, we can get guys the ball that can go make plays and get yards after the catch. So I think we're just going to continue to improve and just keep working. How big of it was to get Dejon back to the, the first time players rush for over 100 yards this season? Yeah, obviously, I mean, it's, it's huge. Um, he had a great game. Um, 
mean, he's making guys miss in the hole, running hard. Um, I'm, I'm super proud of him and what he did today. How do you feel like Rob Ross progressing now? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's progressing well. I think he had the, um, the post catch and then a slant. He might have had one more. I don't know if it was two or three. But um, obviously, he's, he's a new guy, him along with Dom. So, like, as the chemistry continues to build, you know, we can put those guys in, implement them, and um, just continue to be explosive as an offense. What did y'all see in the second half that you didn't see in the first? I mean, you, were, you still were pretty productive in the first, but y'all kind of popped in the second. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think that we were seeing everything fine. Um, obviously, we had a few lost yardage plays, a few penalties that really hurt us. Um, we got it down to the red zone, and we just weren't able to get it into the end zone. So, um, Is that getting all your time? <laughs> I mean, a little bit. But you want to do that more. I mean, yes, yeah. of course. I, I, I feel like I've said that a few times. But um, it's something that we have to work at. You know, it's football. We have a, a new offense, a um, few new players in here. Um, it's just getting down there and then executing. Obviously, when we were able to really run the ball, like that's when we started rushing it in. So. That's where I was going next. 44 for 189. How about it works today? Just to run game. Yeah, speed. I mean, he was the, our offensive line was dominant. They were getting good push. Um, obviously, when the conditions are like that, it's a little harder to throw the ball. Um, but not a problem. But to have a guy like that where you can comfortably hand the, hand the ball off and know that the offensive line is going to get pushed, um, it, it helps a lot. You seem to be narrowly missing on balls, I guess deep balls, where y'all are not close. Is it a big deal to narrowly miss, or is that a, a small problem? Um, I think it's a small problem, and it's fixable, you know. Okay. Uh, with everything in life, you got to practice it. So we'll look at the film, we'll watch it, we'll assess it, and then we'll come back, we'll practice, and then by the time it's time to perform in the game, hopefully we can hit it. Today was the most fired up I've seen them celebrate on the field. What talk, talk to me about the two touchdowns when y'all finally got the lead. What were you thinking? Why were you celebrating so hard? Um, I mean, we had a slow first half. You know, there was a lot of emotion in there. Um, I try to stay like level and even keel for the most part, but like sometimes it just there's got to be a guy to try to get the energy up and boost it. And I was just feeling it and just talking to the guys and just trying to be excited. Chris, what did you like about? Um, I thought I thought I played fine. Um, I don't really remember a lot of it, you know, but I got to watch the film and dissect everything. Um, I feel like I was in the right place with the ball for the most part. I missed a few throws, but um, that's happened. You know, it's part of football. Um, we'll just watch the film, get back, and just keep trying to improve each week. Did you make any conscious decisions about the way you were going to play in the second half? Is it just um, I think play? I think I mean we came out with the same mindset in the first half as in the second half. You know we were a competitive team. Um, not once ever did we ever doubt that we were going to win the game. Um, we did come out and that the momentum flipped and that really brought the energy up. But as far as mindset goes, I think that we had the same mindset throughout the entire game. But you all had to have that drive to start the second half to make momentum. Yes, of course. Flip. Yes. So, so there we, wasn't anything that you all were like, we're going to do this. Now. Well, yeah, no. I mean, obviously we went into halftime where like we didn't start the way we wanted. We had a few penalties. We weren't able to execute when we got down to the red zone. Um, we were like, let's go, let's go score, and we did. And then our defense backed us up and we scored again. And that's just how it goes. What do you think of how Bobo responded in the second half? Because you guys, you know, had touchdown, touchdown to start off. Yeah, I mean, it, it just it speaks to him, his play calling, and then obviously our offense execution, our offensive line really took over that game. Um, can't say enough about them, how proud I am of them and our running backs. Um, making guys miss, getting yards after contact. Um, I mean, we really leaned on them tonight, and I'm just super proud of them. You've worked with Woodring a lot, obviously, if you're holding. What do you say to say, hey, man, it's just what's good? Yeah, I mean, obviously we have full confidence in him. Um, it happens. If he's a kicker just like I'm a quarterback. I'm going to miss throws. He's going to miss kicks. He's going to make kicks. I'm going to make throws. Um, just tell him that we have confidence in him. We love him. We're still, we stand behind him. So he'll be good. You got no how... touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, you know, which is the more important number to you? No interceptions? <laughs> yeah. Um, turnover, turnovers and explosive plays are the two most important things um, when it comes to winning a ball game. Um, and to just take care of the ball, obviously. Get, once you get down in that red zone, you know, we start running the ball, we punch it in. Uh, it doesn't matter how we score. I'm just trying to get a win. But, I mean, he's a dog. Uh, that's that's what we do. Um, he wants it more than some guys, and he's going to make guys miss. He's going to run. Um, he's going to get extra yards after contact. Um, I'm just super proud of the way he played. You guys finally get a lead, you know, in the second half. The rain starts coming down. It becomes pretty clear what you guys got to do, kind of that old school Georgia man ball kind of mm -hmm. stuff. What what was the feeling when y'all were, uh, you know, having the line up and knowing that we got to run some clock, we got to knock some people off the ball in that moment? Yeah, I mean, we lean on our offensive line. Um, they played a great game. Uh, running backs were running behind them, making guys miss, getting extra yards after contact. Um, but, yeah, the ghost, it all goes back to the offensive line and the way that they played and how physical they were. Carson, what do you learn about your team playing a game like this, especially this early in the season? Um, that we can be composed. That even when things don't go our way, because things aren't going to go our way all the time, 
um, that we're going to come back and we're going to respond. And um, we're going to keep the same mindset throughout the whole entire game, no matter what's happening.